Hello Lola's, welcome back to Weirdville, I guess. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel guys. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you won't be disappointed. Don't forget to click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you're not a Chatterbox member, now is the time to join. It is $1.99 and you do have to be at least 18 years old to join. If the join now button don't work, try the link in the description bar or go to my about me tab and you should find a way to join my membership. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram with all my photos, you can follow me at Miss Serenity underscore Smith. I have a blog that I blog on every now and then. It's MissSerenitySmithBabies.com. So today I'm showing you my two toddlers, um, both painted by me. By me. Um, one obviously is missing something, but I won't tell you what that is because I just want to see if you can figure it out. But anyway, she's getting here. Um... <laughs> Finally, so um, so Taraji is the one that is staring at the camera, and Zora is the one that is a little lost in the head, you know, right at the moment. Don't worry, she'll have it all together eventually. But um, I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about something more fun and you know, uplifting. Um, I know we, we talk about all these different topics and it just gets so serious and heavy and weighted and all this stuff. But guys, let me tell you something. This hobby is something that is so magical and amazing. We can use our imagination. We can pretend. We, I have not seen this many people in my life that can come up with so many different personalities for dolls i mean we give them life baby when i tell you listen honey i mean when you say that you want to do that snap turn twist we give them life honey we gotta you know you got to snap it when you say it honey we give them life and you know there are some of us that don't want to do all that and we are the classified collectors of the community where we have the nice prams and the million dollar outfits in the million dollar homes that sit in the glass beautiful casing oh my gosh it's beautiful some of these sculptors uh places where they keep their dolls if you ever be on facebook and they when they do their little tours and show, i'll be like oh my gosh like and i'm i'm not one to want to put my babies in the shelf but i'm like baby that's not just any kind of shelf let me tell you that is just you know so we do our own thing our own way and and it's wonderful you know what i i won't even lie it's even fun when i see you know people have the newborns and they're standing up at the you know or sitting in a high chair and they're 17 inches i'm st i you know it's fun it's you know we can use our imagination but anyway girl that ain't what i came to tell you about honey did ain't what i came to tell you about so i was just thinking to myself i said you know what girl this girl done changed her ways honey okay maybe not all the way but i have changed quite a bit you know going from shopping from the top most expensive babies ever to now listen honey i am balling on a budget baby and yet i have not been more happy in my collecting than i ever been and i i you know what i don't regret you know spending money that i've spent over the years and i'm not saying that i won't because if i see one that i really really like and i really really want it i would I would jump out and drop those those thousands when I get ready but I have really been able to really really enjoy my collection without feeling so pressured and and this coming from somebody that ain't got a lot you know what I mean like I don't have a lot of money just sitting so when I do those buy those big big purchases big dollar purchases it's a lot even today when I buy from, you know, some of these uh, more high priced artists, um, a lot of like my babies like uh, Joey and um, Zuri and, um, you know, some of my other babies. That's the only ones I can think of right now, child. But, uh, <laughs> you know, some of my other babies, they cost quite a bit. Um, it takes a lot. 
I usually have sold about two or three of my babies just to afford one of somebody else's babies. Um, but it's something that I really want. So that's another thing, baby. Get what you want, honey. Don't shop on no budget if you don't have to have one. Don't shop on no budget just to please your friend because she broke and mad. And telling you, you don't need to be spending your money. Because trust me, soon as she get the ability to spend that money, she going to be buying the same dolls that she told you not to buy. So honey, don't hold your happiness and put it on the side for somebody else, honey. And if you got a friend that you can't be happy around, hello or somebody, wait a minute, y'all ain't ready. If you got a friend that you got to water down your excitement, water down your joy, not show them your expensive things because they're going to be feeling some type of way, that ain't your friend, boo-boo. I don't know what to call them, but it ain't friend. Okay, it's not your friend, not your family. Anyway, but seriously, seriously. So I was thinking, I'm like, oh man, I am really, really um, doing this now. And the other thing is, I was so like, like I had really honestly um, kicked my reborns to the curb. I ain't gonna lie. Like I really, my reborns were just basically just sitting. They wasn't on the shelf. They might have been in a bed. They might have been in a rocker. But they were really, really, like, on hold. Like, they, they wasn't, I wasn't doing much with them. Every blue moon, I would, you know, dress them or something like that. It was all about, let me get, show my silicones. Let me dress my silicones. Let me hold my silicone. And so, when I got broke, <laughs> okay, well, yeah, kind of. You know, when I, well, I, I. I got to a point where I couldn't couldn't afford or didn't either I couldn't afford it. There's times where I couldn't afford it and there was times where I didn't want to afford to spend that level of money. And I you know, I took a deep breath. A couple things happened that really woke me up and made me say, you know what? Why are you doing this? It do you really is this really necessary? Do you really have to have this to to really enjoy what you've always loved which is dolls no i mean i i started out with uh baby alive and uh this was as a kid now though because don't give me no baby alive today baby that's to each his own honey y'all can do y'all thing but it ain't for me I, like I know the trend right now is going on with the the Paradise Gallery babies, and I'm 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 good with y'all tukananas and stuff, but don't send them over here to me, cause I don't want it. I don't want it. I ain't trying to be no snob. I'm just being me. I don't want it. I done played with my dolls my days, and I'm over that. Um, but yeah, I started out with Strawberry Shortcake and my buddy and um, uh, Rainbow Bright and. Uh, cabbage patches and raggedy ends and my little pony and who else I had in my collection uh it's so real that was the name that's the name of that baby I could never think of it it's so real it was a it's so real baby that was the one that was the most realistic I was so excited about that baby but of course you know she her eyes was closed and people would say oh she loves she did or whatever child Ugh. Honey, the things that was going through my head as a child to tell those grown people when they said that about my baby. Woo, child, good thing I didn't say it out loud because I wouldn't be able to talk today because, baby, they would have broke my back in. But, yeah, I'm like, oh, ooh, that baby look like it's dead and so do your makeup, honey. Who done told you? And you smell like an old funeral home. But, anywho, <laughs> that's what I used to be thinking in my head, but I ain't never said, of course. But anyway, so I got back into my Reborns, and I have really, really been enjoying my Reborns, guys. Listen, because I don't spend like a big guap of money on one baby, okay, I know some of y'all told me that, even some of the people that don't like me <laughs> today told me that back then, you know, hey, you know, because you spending all your money on one baby, that's why you can't get you can't get into these other da 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 da. Well, because I I wasn't spending you know all my money on one you know one baby. Now don't get me wrong. We we work hard for our money, 
we, most of us, I'm speaking for myself and then I'm sure is many of other sis in the community or uh, brothers in the community work hard for your money and every now and then we deserve to have at least one royalty princess of, you know, you know, something really, really nice that you really, really want. I mean, you should get what you want, period. But what I'm saying is it's not a big to do. Like for me, right now my splurging is buying silicone. Like if I buy a silicone kit that's, you know, $3,000 for the blank kit or $2,000 for a blank kit, that's my splurge. That's a big, big dollar purchase for me right now. Um, then, um, you know, I think I'm... You know, I think I am at a cap now on like where I'm at. Now my Reborns, believe it or not, my Reborns, I might spend up to a certain amount. I ain't gonna put that dollar number out there because you know, people be watching and then when you go and ask them when they say DM you for the price, child, they be like, oh, her video, she said she'll pay up to this. So let me give her this price. So, uh, <laughs> um, but, you know, I have actually been paying a lot more on my remorse than I thought I would ever pay. I've, I, I have paid over three grand for a reborn. I ain't gonna lie. And I don't feel bad about it. But, you know, on the big scheme of things, that's kind of scaling way back for me. You know what I mean? Um, compared to the silicone prices that, you know, I'm accustomed to. So, you know, it's to each his own. Everybody budget bracket is different. But what I can tell you guys and what I, what, what I really wanted to talk to you guys about, but I done got all lost in the sauce with everything else, is that I have found out that I truly, and, and this is not just no, oh, I'm broke and this is what... You know, this is because I'm broke talk because that's what I used to do. Every time you would see my videos, it's like a up and down, like a wave. You know, every time I was in a low spot financially, I'd be back talking about, oh, I'm on a budget. It's, I ain't buying this. I ain't buying it. And then as soon as I get my, my money back up, oh, it was like, boom, look what I got, y'all. So not saying that that don't happen, won't happen one day. But um, I have actually got to a point where I could afford to spend the money and didn't and haven't because I have one found value in my own work that's the first I have found value in my own work my own self I feel confident enough that I can paint a baby that I could truly love just as much as I would any other high-end baby and it's not to say that it's as good as, or it's as flawless, or fancy, or whatever the case may be, but it's good enough for me. And so, with that being said, and you know, and it's funny because, let me tell you, let me tell you something, let me tell you about this community, honey. Baby, it's, it's wonderful, but uh, baby, when I stop, like, running out there, you know, buying the top of the line, baby. Oh, they talked about a sis, baby. They was like, oh, yeah, she broke, she mad, she can't afford this now, she this, she that. Girl, listen. Listen. They drug a sister, okay? Oh, now she, 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 her collection is garbage now, basically. Like, you know, or whatever. But let me tell you something, guys. I have not been more happier, more free. I don't have to be worried about the 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 mean girls club. None of that. We we have nothing to argue about. You can't say your collection better than my collection because we ain't even collecting the same thing no more. So as far as I know, you know, I, I am so happy. So I'm telling you guys that if you take the time to really understand what it is that you want out of your dolls, out of your collection, out, you know, in this hobby, take that time, you will find what you truly love. You will find what you truly love and you can find it within your budget. 
Sometimes it don't come as fast. Sometimes you have to go through a few babies to get to knowing what you actually like. Like I know even with my budget babies or babies that may not be as fancy as other babies, I know what I can stomach and what I can't. And I, when I say stomach, it's not like I'm just tolerating them. I know what is going on when I put that baby in my arms, I'm going to feel just as happy and content with it as one that I would be really like just basically filling a space. So I know what I like. I know what's important to me in the sculpts. I know what's important to me with silicone, vinyl, that type of thing. I collect, I will collect from a new, new artist with vinyl, a new artist with, with uh, silicone. And here's the thing, some of these silicone people, um, these silicone and uh, artists that are new, are really, they, they really are skilled. Some of them are really skilled at what they do. Um, they just don't have the big name tag in front of them. And then some of them are still growing and learning and, you know, um, so don't, don't always knock someone just because they're, they're new, because you got to think about it. The, some of the greatest that's out here, they have other people that's been doing it a lot longer than them. And if you compare their, their work to those people, if you want to compare years, you, you, it's not gonna, it's not the math not gonna add up because there's so many people that have more years than some of these people that what I consider to be master artists and master sculptors that can run circles around people that's been doing it, you know, way longer than them before them. So, um, time doesn't matter. Um, it's, it's the skill that's acquired within the time. Oh, somebody. Girl, I feel like I'm preaching this morning, honey. Let me stop playing with y'all because, baby, y'all ain't ready for this conversation. But I'm just telling y'all, listen, honey, I'm going to show y'all some things. Y'all just stay tuned. I'm working on some stuff. But y'all stay tuned, baby. Stay tuned. Follow me closely because your girl got some things playing, baby. Yes. Yes. I am going to be working on my collection. I am going to be working on babies to put out for the sale. But it's going to be fun and it's different. I mean, I think I've already started. I think I've already bought babies that people were like, I can't believe she bought that one. I can't believe she really loved it. Like, you know, when I bought Drew and um, got him and, you know, poor baby ain't have much butt. And, you know, I'm like, gosh, you know, I'm like, I don't know. At first, I wasn't going to get him, but I was just so in love with I could not get past that face. I was like, I got to have him. Baby, when I tell you when I hold that baby in my arms, I didn't care nothing about it not having no butt when I tell you. When I tell you that I love that baby, I still love that baby. He just lit my whole world up. And he was not a designer at all. Um, but I, 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 I'm telling you, it's... It's amazing of all the things that I said I wouldn't like or wouldn't love that now that I'm exploring more, even with the reborn kits and sculpts, I mean, I mean, now, like, I was just like, oh, I don't like, you know, this with that, this sculptor or that sculptor or whatever. Now it's like, oh my gosh, I'm loving so many more sculpts. Um, Cassie Brace, I didn't, I, I, I liked her faces. I, I will say that I always liked her faces, but you know, the two small feet just bothered me and the position of the leg sometime or it was arms or something. And so it just prevented me from when, even when I saw one I thought was okay, I was just like, mm -mm, I ain't even gonna try it. But the day I decided, you know what? I really, really like this baby. I'm gonna order the kit and if I don't like it, I'll just paint it and sell it. And I ordered the kit and now I got two of them in my collection. And and even though I put Charlotte up for sale, I cannot let her go really. I really can't. It's so hard for me to say, okay, you really got to go. Um uh who else? Um I've always liked Marita Winner, so I have Marita Winners. Um there's another sculptor that I like work. I don't know about her. And I'm trying to detach myself too from a lot of people like their, you know, behaviors and little comments and stuff that they do in the forums. 
I'm trying to stay out of that and just collect what I like and not be bothered. As long as they're not being a racist or stealing or, um, you know, doing, you know, hate crimes type things. Um, I'm trying not to worry about if they got a, you know, snarky attitude, especially with vinyl. Because vinyl, you just buy from the manufacturer or the dealers. You don't have to deal with the sculptors, sculptors personally like you do with silicone. Silicone, you know, you got to interact with the sculptors and it's just a little different. But and another thing, and another thing. I have had some great customer service with these uh, other uh, new uh, sculptors and stuff that I've dealt with too. I have really had pleasant experiences with them. Um, it's been a really, really, you know, you know, I don't want to jinx it, but it's been a, it's been, they've been very pleasant you know and I, I know some of the snarks will say oh they have to be because you know um many people are not going to be chasing their work and all that so they have to be nice you know they have to be nicer and all this and stuff and nobody I don't have time for that because you know I'm this and I'm that but you know what I don't know I don't care what their reason is I know that I feel good when I spend my money with someone and they thank me. Yeah, they just, I, I it, just them saying thank you. It's nice. Yeah, it's nice. And if I have a question or two or three, they're not irritated with me. Or acting like I, they, I can't ask a question. Um, so I really, really have, um, been you know happy that i'm opening up to a lot but i gotta go because i'm probably gonna have a little person showing up here looking for their grandma and i i probably need to put on a different little shirt because um this this child pulls on me and he's I, I tell his mom he's a bully he makes me hold him he cries a lot and um he's he's he bullies me um, he makes me hold him all the time. I don't, I don't, I don't want to. He just makes me do it. But anyway, I'm going to go. Um, and I will talk to you guys later. I, I, I want to continue this chat, but I want to talk about next, um, things that I like and things that I look and look for in my vinyl versus my silicone and, um, versus, uh, from a collector standpoint and from an artist standpoint, of things that I I like and I look into and what I want to hear like some of the things that you guys like and look into so we'll get into that in the next video or maybe I should go live and we can talk about it that might be even better because then we can kind of just talk right then you know what I mean what do you guys think let me know if you if, if you think I should do a live on things that we love and what we look for into sculpts um, when we're shopping for our babies and I will, if enough people say they will join, I will go ahead and set up a live stream with you guys. Later, guys. Bye-bye.